I know that COVID has rearranged our schedule, like we kind of touched on a little bit, but um, I've talked with a lot of like young players specifically in the last few months or the last several months when I was at home in Canada as well. And I know you like to, to kind of reach out to the next generation coming up and like mentor and all that as well. And so many people have kind of been trying to navigate this situation that's like so inherently uncertain and so like just very blurry kind of looking. You don't know what's happening next week. Like you said, you don't know what's happening this weekend. You don't know when your next game is. How have you found yourself kind of reacting to that? Or what are the stages that you've gone through reacting to that? <laughs> and like mentally, physically, on a, any level? Yeah, good question. Um, when I guess in the spring, I was in Puerto Rico um, playing professionally there. And then, of course, we our seasons got uh, cancelled, I suppose. And it was mm -hmm. kind of a rush to get back home because it was really up in the air at that point and borders were closing. We didn't know if we were going to get stuck. So everyone rushed home and um, national team was kind of up in the air at that point at the beginning of the summer, like maybe it would just be pushed back a little bit, but hopefully we could still have some tournaments or some later training groups. So for me, I think I had this like false sense of hope <laughs> or security of like national team is like, I can still go to that maybe in a month or two. So my initial reaction was like, okay, I'm at home and I'm never at home during this time. I'm just going to relax and kind of enjoy my time here, even though it looked different, of course, because we are also in a little bit of quarantine. But then, so I kind of like had this initial upswing of, okay, I have all this time that I've never had. I get to, I guess, push some of my creativity and do things that I haven't done um, we had just got a puppy from Puerto Rico also. So of course that was taking up a lot of time. So I was, I was okay. Um, initially reacting to, I guess, coming home, even though that part was pretty hard. Um, but then gradually, like as things kind of just kept getting knocked down, I think, which is what everybody's experiencing right now. Like we thought it would, we would be through this and, um, I thought national team would be starting up again and it never did. So I also kind of went through this like huge, like decline. Um, we didn't, my husband and I didn't know where we were going to live or what we were supposed to be doing. And it was just a lot of, I think I went through like a loss of purpose also because we didn't have national team and that was what I do in the summer. So when people are asking what are you up to? That's just what we're doing. We're just, we're training and that all of a sudden got taken away. And um, the, I guess, signing the contract to come to Paris also had me something looking forward to, but that in itself is like a dangerous thing because you're kind of, again, putting this like false sense of hope or you're like looking forward, trying to um, grab onto something to make, this positive or okay I'm just gonna get through this chunk of time and then it will be better over here which mm -hmm. which I was experiencing also in the summer um I'm, if I just make it through this month or if I just make it through this week um it'll be better and I think now especially it's taking longer than we all thought I guess and I've mm -hmm. had to learn like during this like insane roller coaster and this crazy drop of my emotions is that like I have to somehow like cultivate something good now or else like it's all everyone always says like the grass is greener but you just can't be always like okay then it's going to be okay and then it's going to be okay because what if it just takes longer or this is going to be yeah. our new normal for a while like fingers crossed it's not but um I think like that roller coaster kind of taught me like okay I need to find some stability like as soon as possible and even now like games are being postponed and whatnot here but like how can I be making sure like my day-to-day -day is still like positive and I'm still living for right now yeah. yeah totally you totally touched on it like it's kind of I feel like COVID has kind of exposed our assumption that we actually have control over 
anything really. A hundred percent. Yeah, hundred like, percent. Like you know what's gonna happen next week, but we don't. And especially now, we know that we don't. You know. Um, I know. So it's so funny to to see how that has like kind of grounded, collectively grounded us to like bring us back to the present moment. Be like, okay, yeah, like what can I do right now so that I'm not waiting for something in the future that may or may not come to fruition. 